Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. Wait, wait do it again, do it again. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Okay, ready? <laughs> Today, we are going to be doing a Christmas show, people. We're starting off with Samuel Adams, You Know That Beer. They put together a holiday pack, and this is one of them in it that was our favorite. And it's called Old Fuzzy Wig, Rich and Spiced. And it's a 5.9% alcohol by volume. Just Pop that bad boy open. So we've give been her a we've been four. MIA for a little bit. Now it's the holidays, so thank goodness we're feeling good and ready to celebrate. So now we're back and we're doing a Christmas show by popular demand. And show that new glass that we have. Oh yeah. From our dear friends. Wow. Yes, it's our new Christmas gift we already got in the mail. Darn cool. And that's a nice amber color there. Look at that. That's like a dark. I would say a dark copper color. And Pretty. I do like how this says, Heavy Metal Beer Club established 2020. Yeah. So thank you, Lisa, Rick, and Lily. Yeah, it's got a beautiful color, you're right. It's nice and dark. A beer that this color always attracts me because oh. it looks like it's gonna have a lot of flavor. It looks like a, like a dark brown, can, reddish. Yeah, and you can see right through there. Well, I can smell it from here. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, that smells really nice. Reminds me a little bit of some of the pumpkin beers that were out kind of when you smell it because you get a little bit of that spice. In yeah, it. you get some spice, I get Little nutmeg. Nutmeg. I get a little like raisin also. Mm -hmm. Let's try it, beer snob. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, and I'm getting some bitterness towards the, mm -hmm. the end on the finish. Mm -hmm. It's kind of vanilla, that little vanilla caramely ish. The thing is, I think with the Sam Adams beers, they're not as overly sweet or powerful as other craft beers, but they have a, a nice, pleasant flavor that goes. You know, it's kind of gonna make a lot of people happy with it. It's not overkill. Yeah, and would I'm you, gonna. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, because it's something you know what you're getting with that. And I know I'm gonna contradict mm -hmm. myself because I do like craft and I do like when you Too. get from year to year things change. But then I also like consistency sometimes yeah. also. I know I'm gonna pick this yeah, up and I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get be good. something that I'm gonna like. On the tasty meter, which is a one through five, what would you say? I'd give it a. Four. I'd give that a four also. I agree mm -hmm. with you on that. That's it really good. It also has a nutty flavor. Like it maybe, maybe it's because it's Christmas and winter time, but like chestnutty, you know, kind of like Yeah, that. you know what? When you mentioned that, I, I got pecan is what yeah, I got. Pecan. When you eat a pecan and you get that that, mm -hmm. that sort of uh, feeling in your yeah. mouth, it's sort of like that. Yeah, kind of like that, exactly. And we didn't say that it was going to be a triple threat. Just the one, the, the um, Fezziwig, is the only beer that's really a Christmas beer, though. We wanted to have more Christmas beers. Somehow we kind of missed the mark. <laughs> but we, it, this looks like Christmas, and these all fit well into Christmas, the, all these flavors. So yeah. you'll see the next one after this. But this is the Oak Spire Bourbon Barrel Age Special Release. And this is from uh, New Belgium, which they always make great beers. It's a 9% alcohol by volume. And it's bourbon barrel ale with the four roses, which is, uh, I love their whiskey, as you can tell when I show the bottles. <laughs> There's hardly anything in there. We get the four roses, and it, it doesn't last in this house because it is just so good. Let's give that. Plus, a we have nice company pour. that likes it too. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's for sure. It looks I'm very sure whiskey, and I smell it already. Yeah, it does. Wow. It does have a nice whiskey bourbon color, doesn't that? Um, we saw and, this and knew we had to try it. You want to smell that? Yeah, I smelt I smelt the bourbon right away. Yeah, yeah, it's it's faint for me, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's it's definitely there. It's kind of got a nice little sweetness to it. Cheers. Give it a taster. Oh wow, <laughs> as Mark Wines would say. Yeah, it that is. That is good. It is really good. It's sweet. Ooh yeah. Not overly on the bourbon, but enough to where if you our bourbon drinker, you're gonna mm. like this. I must say Very that's nice one of the sipping. that's one of the uh, better bourbon ones I've tasted. It's really good. Yeah, it has a, a, a light to medium mouthfeel with you know a lot of the bourbon barrel aged beers that you get. It's usually a, a porter or a darker beer. 
and so it's it's a bit thicker, more viscous, where this isn't. No. This is lighter, which is yeah. nice because you can drink this easily with yeah. a meal. Yeah. You could have this, or it's with not some, heavy yeah, some smoked to where you could have it, oh meat my gosh. That you make. Yeah, with some smoked meat. Well, I we like should, thinking. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, that'd I be know really him. good with some smoked meat. He loves Ooh, some no, bourbon my flavors mouth is watering with thinking smoked about meat. That. Okay, so on the tasting meter, I'd give this a 4.5. It's really good. What's going on here? That's what I was going to say. 4.5 on this. Definitely. Well, it's yeah. really good. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, and for the third and final beer, you want the honors on this one? This one is Southern Tier Nitro. It's their Blackwater series, and we had done their other one. Which one was it that we did their Blackwater series that we, we were dying how good it was? I don't know, but I do remember it was very good. Oh my gosh. Oh, was it a hot chocolate? Well, this one is their Blackwater series Southern Tier Nitro S'mores. So we can't wait to try this. But I know I was saying about the Sam Adams beers that you can't go wrong. Again, that's Southern Tier Brewing Company. You cannot go wrong with one of their beers. I, I can smell the chocolate from here. I mean, look at that, the distance, and I can smell the chocolate I can as see the, I I can see it. the bears, the little cabin in the woods, <laughs> and the s'mores toasting on the open fire. Yeah, but I don't want to be by a campfire because I had. Can we that, sing? I think that's can why we I sing got a Christmas bronchitis. Song this is the Christmas special. Let's sing. Chipmunks <laughs> roasting on an Chip open monks. farm. <laughs> Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Oh, let me get, yeah, that is nice right there. Look at that smooth, creamy head on that from the nitro bubbles, how dark that is. Wow, oh, yeah, that wow. is dark. That's. And you know this is going to be smooth. I don't know if smooth. it's just dark in here, but I mean, that's that's almost like a black. Oh, yeah. That is so chocolatey. Ooh. That smells chocolatey Let's, and oh my malty. Gosh. It smells very We knew it. it smells, and you smell the graham crackers. Oh yeah, you do smell graham crackers oh, in it for man. sure. I think they threw some real s'mores in there. <laughs> wow, if this Southern tier, tastes, you guys are crazy. We didn't crazy. taste this yet, but if it tastes the way it yeah. smells, this is just gonna Southern be crazy Southern tier, good. if you see any Blackwater Series Nitro, do yourself a favor and get it because- So what was ABV on? On this, you were harassing me about the last beer. I, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can't see without readers because I got contacts on. Yeah, look at it. it says ale with chocolate, graham cracker, and vanilla flavors. Yeah. It is all that for sure. That's a 10% oh alcohol by volume. Oh my Good thing we're doing this from home, folks. Holy moly. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that is sweet, chocolatey, vanilla. Yeah. That's liquid gold. I don't taste the graham crackers so much. I smell it, but I don't taste it. I can. Can you? Mm -hmm. It even has like a bourbon barrel aged flavor to it. Man. Even it's though it's not barrel aged, it has that sort of flavor to it. Now taste Which is very nice. Taste it in your mouth. Don't you taste the graham cracker now? No. Well, I do. <laughs> No, but it's it's Boy, outstanding. It's outstanding. Now, I, I know I always Man. ask you first, but straight up on a scale of one through five, the tasty meter, this is a five for me. What would you say? I'd give it a 10. But it only goes up to five. Well, this goes now to we're gonna 11. Change, now we're gonna change the scale to 11. To 11. I would say we You'll have had some them. outstanding beers tonight. Happy holidays to everybody. And thank you for your support of the Heavy Metal Beer Club because we appreciate your support and cheers to 2023. We'll be doing a new year show. We and will. please leave in the comments, what uh, what are you liking right now during the holidays? Are there any special seasonal beers that you really enjoy? We'd like to see your comments. Yeah. And, we and appreciate you new subscribers and the people that are watching us for the first time. Yeah, we love our rock and roll. Watch our show, we're gonna do a lot more in 23. Subscribe, please, and then you will never miss an episode. Thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Stay safe, drink responsibly during this holiday season, and stay, stay metal. metal. I've only tasted part of my Sam Adams in this one, and I'm like, oh. Well, then, darn, I'm going to have to finish your story. No, 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 no.